hi, and welcome to another Tuesday tip video from Inside the Recording Studio podcast. My name is Chris, and in this video, we're going to take a look at IRs and the tremendous amount of flexibility they afford us when we're recording or DIing guitars. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use a simple riff that I just wrote using Brainworks' Excellent Angle Retro 2 100. But instead of using one of the many amazing IRs that come with it, I've pulled up an empty cabinet here. And what that's going to allow me to do is use my own IR loader here. In this case, this is Mix IR 3 from Redwires. And we have an extensive list of cabs here. We see we have Bogners, we got Celestians, Electro Voices, Fenders, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on and on and on here. So what I've started with here is I've pulled in a Marshall with Vintage 30s. And now the fun starts. I'm opening this up and we see we have different distances from the speaker available to us from right on the grill to half an inch away, one inch, two, three, four, five, six, and all the way up to 12 inches away from the cabinet. We also have different microphones available. We had FM 57s, we have the Royer 121, we have the 421, we have U87s, 414s. So you start getting the idea here. It's a ridiculous amount of flexibility. I'm a big fan of the 421. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. And now I can place this wherever I want it. I tend to like to go on the cap edge here. And I'm going to start at about one inch away. So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so now if you are not used to miking up an actual cabinet, let me just walk you through a few things here. The closer we are to the middle of the speaker, the brighter the sound will be. The further away we are, it gets duller, more bottom end, less high end. Same thing goes for the closer we are to the grill here. We get a fuller tone, more low end. The further apart we get, or the further back, I should say, we lose bottom end. So let me demonstrate that just with this IR pulled up. You're starting to see the amount of flexibility that we have here while dialing in our tones. Now, I just use one microphone and we can use it off axis. We can use any of the other ones in all these different positions. So that is absolutely amazing. Also, we have the same thing with any different cab that we might want. Let's see. I want to try what a Soldano would sound like. I'm going to bypass the Marshall. I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's do the 421 again. I'm going to go the cap edge and at, again, one inch. Let's take a listen to that. <laughs> So again, we have a completely different sound there. Now, take that whole idea of using any different speaker here with any different microphone combination, any distance to the grill or far away from the cap or not, and you start to see the massive amounts of flexibility that we get. There you go. Hopefully you found some inspiration in there. The only thing I would caution with this is that with such an amazing amount of IRs available out there, it's easy to fall into the rabbit hole that we just keep searching and searching and searching for the correct IR. The best thing is probably to find a couple that work for you and then only as needed go searching for others. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.